What's up you guys, Tutorials for Techies here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a submit button on a form that allows other people that are looking on your website to submit the form to you through your email address. I know it sounds like a lot, but trust me, it's not that hard. Okay, so let's get right into it. And before we do anything, I just want to tell you that this is nothing to do with HTML coding or anything. You don't have to worry about going to a website or whatever. And this um, tutorial is brought to you by this comment right here. Um, he actually asked me the question on how the submit button um, that I did in my other tutorial doesn't necessarily submit it to the email. So I did some research and I found out how. And this will, this is totally, um, it works. Um, I tried it out. So once you create the submit button, then it'll submit the whole form to you. Okay, so first what you want to do is um, highlight um, the, whoops, sorry. Okay, so first what you want to do is highlight the, um, the application, I mean, the, yeah, the application that you created in Dreamweaver, um, the form that you want somebody to send to you. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is have your application highlighted and ready. And um, once you do that, you want to go to the insert menu on the right or however um, it looks on your computer. And you want to make sure that in the insert uh, drop down menu, you click forms. After you click forms, you want to simply click the first one down and click form. And after you click that, um, you can see down here in the properties um, for the action, you want to do mail to and have a colon and that's all one word. And then you want to type in your email address. Okay, so um, now that you've done that, for method, we're going to have get. And um, if you do post, that means um, you'll um, that means you're going to be able to send the information. But we want them to send the information to the um, to the creator of the application or the website. And so now that you've done that, um, you want to go to um, while while on the forms menu, you want to um, go down and click button. ID is going to be submit. and click OK and so now once you click submit um, make sure the action is submit form okay so now after you do the submit button um, next what you want to do is ha have the form still clicked Whoops. have the form still clicked <clears throat> and after you click the form you want to make sure that um, and um, and and type whatever you call it um, you want to make that text forward slash plain okay so now you can see that I have I have a submit button here and so now that once people fill this um, fill this um, application out once they click submit it'll go straightly and directly um, to my email address before when I did the, when I did the when I did the tutorial I just left it at that so I didn't include a submit button but now you know how to do it, so um, so just go out, go out there and um, create create your submit button. In order to test out um, this application just built, you want to simply go to this globe right here in like the middle upper left hand corner. You want to um, click Preview in Safari, Firefox, or whatever you have running on your computer. And so now you see that oh, I can preview this in um, in Safari or whatever internet browser you have. And as you can see, it comes up, so you can change your gender with the with the drop down menu. And this is an application that I said before um, in the beginning of this tutorial that I've done before. So um, I made all this before, and you want to see how I made this? Um, just simply click this annotation right here, and that'll bring you to the different video. And as you can see, and I can also click the submit button, and it'll submit it to my um to my email address. Obviously, it, obviously, it's not going to submit it right now because. Um, it's not really on Safari. It's just a preview. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure to, make sure to subscribe and uh, make sure to rate as well. And I love to hear your comments. Um, and as I said before, this comment, um, I mean, this tutorial was brought up by a comment. So you never know. Your comment could be um, on my next tutorial. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace. Um, before you go, I also did create a new vlog here, um, so just click here to see it. Um, it's really funny. Um, it's about little kids and choo-choo trains. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.